Here we go. This is the New York night course on K-Sport. We go through the start line here. Now, this has got some uh, tight corners on it, but some nice fast straights. So the idea is to get some speed up on the straights if you can, but just get that braking right. Look at these superb graphics. This nighttime uh, experience is quite good. Now, this street here is quite lit up. What you'll find as we go out to the uh, water side is that the... Um, it gets a little bit darker and then lights up under street lights. It's a great effect. Really do like the way that K Sport have done this. Uh, but it does mean that you can't always see the corners coming up quite as clearly as you do on the daytime version of this course. Now we go around the first bend. This one's reasonably sweeping. So you can see uh, the needle on the speedometer on the bottom of this screen is uh, outside the red zone. We go around the second corner again this one's sweeping so this one's not too tight you can see where we are on the course at the top there uh, remember there's a double bend here so don't accelerate too much out of the first one and this is where you begin to see what i'm on about with the street lights you can see where it's lit up under the street lamps uh, but darker in between now as you look down the course you don't necessarily get uh, a long um, a lot of warning I suppose uh, for the bends because you can't see exactly where they are uh, you can see we're on a straight uh, section now uh, beefing up the speed a little bit here uh, but uh, make sure as I say you, you've got a rough idea where the bend is to get the braking right because if you get the braking wrong of course if you brake too late you tend to crash on the corners if you brake too early you can lose uh, places to your uh, rivals in the, the race uh, but this uh, adds a new skill I suppose doesn't it to eyesight so uh, suited to those with better night vision I guess um, I absolutely love it I think the uh, the way the graphics are done on these nighttime courses really add uh, another dimension to the racing that uh, we have on offer from Cade Sport and indeed with West London Cycling uh, as providers of the uh, particular series that we run the Veer series now this is quite a tight bend um, just uh, going probably a little bit too slow around that one and dark so again uh, couldn't really see what I was doing um, and you can see the way the avatar lights up every time it goes under a street light and gets a complete different view and uh, Cade putting lots of neon uh, Cade advertising around the course just to give it a bit of character too amongst all the other lights uh, we call this New York in the dark rather than New York night uh, New York in the dark uh, if you you probably won't know uh, is actually uh, a very very old 1960s record by the ad libs uh, that was uh, actually about a power cut that happened in new york at the time and uh, a song was made about it and uh, that's where we get the title new york in the dark as opposed to new york night which is the actual name of the map on cade sport going along on another one of these uh, long sections at the moment and uh, you can get quite a bit of speed up i'm not really pushing it but uh, 39 kph at the moment but just remember you need to break for the bend uh, the best thing you might want to do is actually look at the map in the top left hand corner uh, you can see when you're approaching one of those bends although it's to a different scale so it's not uh, i suppose <laughs> immediately obvious but uh, you uh, you will gain the skills the more you race now look i've uh, gone into the red there a little bit a little bit of a warning i slowed down just getting around the corner managed to stay on no crashing there and as we go down another one of these long straight ones but there's another bend coming up it's a left hander going around this one will i get around it uh, way off the red going far too slow really i could uh, do with a bit more on that but i've stayed up on the uh, bike and uh, head for another straight so this is uh, rather like interval sections uh, sessions because you're uh, having to beef up your speed on the straight if you're going to stay in the race uh, but use the braking and perhaps even freewheel around some of the corners so it's uh, not that hard hamster wheel push that you get on some platforms uh, these skills enable you to sort of have to uh, accelerate and decelerate uh, it's far more cerebral as we go around this corner uh, way off the red i'm not really doing that one as fast as i could do uh, it's far more cerebral uh, but it also means that you've got to uh, you've got that opportunity to really accelerate and put a bit of power in so it's a bit more like intervals uh, than that sort of slog that you get in most racing platforms uh, we certainly think that Cade sport is taking uh, e-cycling vr cycling to a new level and uh, we absolutely love it as we come around another bend i've done well on this course i've actually stayed up on one of these previews uh, without falling down again uh, just short of the red there and uh, as 
we go along another one of these straight straight sections so you really should be pushing the speed up 43 kph at the moment 44 uh, coming around a bend any moment now though and it's uh, not clear where it is is it because uh, you can see the buildings at the end of the road but i don't think the road goes all the way up to them here it is here's the bend round to the right this time slowing down again too much under 30 kph could have done that faster speeding up into the straight and uh, we've got about 200 meters to go now remember the finishing line on this one is going to be after a bend so um I say 200 meters to go uh, according to one down to 100 meters to go as I say the finishing line is on a bend it swings around to the left uh, so you won't uh, so you have to judge your sprint based on your knowledge from the previous laps so we swing around and there is the finishing line straight after the bend absolutely fantastic course with fantastic graphics it's New York night or as we like to call it New York in the dark <laughs> 